I was uh, in the office one day uh, back in Washington, and somebody came in, one of my staffers came in and said, Muhammad well, Ali's on side. He wants to say hello to you. <laughs> I've always been a fight fan, you know, and, uh, and I actually did some amateur boxing myself. And I, uh, I said, my gosh. And so I went out, and he grabbed me, and he said, I like you. He said, <laughs> he said I'm supporting you. I said, well, that's good. So I brought him in the office, and we had a great chat, and he became a very dear friend, I'll tell you. How you doing? Say hello to Ali. Senator Orrin Hatch held a reception for the Utah delegation and invited Muhammad Ali. It was one of the hottest tickets in town tonight. Hi. Good to see you. Turn around there a little bit and you'll get your picture taken. He's right over here. Sir. Ali, who suffers from Parkinson's disease, said little during the hour-long affair, but his wife said the champ is one of the senator's biggest fans. Muhammad has developed quite a fondness for him because he can feel that there's something very genuine about Orrin Hatch, and I definitely feel the same way. Former heavyweight boxing champion Muhammad Ali continues to charm his way through Utah tonight. Ali is in Salt Lake at the request of Senator Orrin Hatch, who is running for re-election this year. The champ signed autographs, gave medals to young karate students, and even put the gloves on for a while today. Now, although he's been slowed by Parkinson's disease, Ali showed a few flashes of his championship form. There we go, a little dance there, floating like a butterfly. <laughs> Ali's trip to Utah ends tomorrow when he leaves town after watching the Sunday morning performance of the Mormon Tabernacle Choir. Well, there's no doubt that Dan Quayle could use some heavyweight help at this point, but Orrin Hatch is the one who's getting it. The man who once touted himself as the greatest, Muhammad Ali, is lending his support to the Republican senator from Utah who is up for re-election. The former world heavyweight boxing champion met with Hatch at the Republican convention in New Orleans last week, and he'll be in Utah next Thursday. Earlier tonight, Hatch brought out the big guns, Muhammad Ali. He somewhat embarrassed me this evening because he came walking in here with a special button that he had made up. And I want you to know, I had nothing to do with that. All right, Rick, thank you very much. Along with the many reporters that are here, there are many other luminaries, actors and other famous people from around the country. Senator Orrin Hatch of Utah held a reception today for the former world heavyweight boxing champion, Muhammad Ali. Hatch and Ali are good friends, and the Utah senator told the crowd about a memento he got from Muhammad Ali. He framed for me a number of wonderful items of memorabilia, and he framed within that, in a recessed part of the frame, one of the four world championship belt buckles that he won as champion of the world. Ali says he likes Hatch because of the way the senator handled himself at the Iran-Contra hearings. He points out he has campaigned for Ronald Reagan and George Bush as well as Hatch. Others may find their friendship a bit mysterious. Neither Hatch nor Ali do. Rick Shankman, KUTV News.